There are actually two ways that you can start sweet potato slips. The most common way is to put your sweet potato in a jar of water, place it in a window, and let it do its thing. I have never had much luck with that way. The water becomes cloudy and it, the potato ends up molding. I am so excited to share with you the new way that I have found to start sweet potato slips. If we haven't met before, I'm Deanne from Hummingbird Acres. I run the blog and the YouTube Hummingbird Acres, and we are here to share with you our homesteading journey, anything from from scratch cooking, natural living, and gardening. So we are so excited that you are along for this adventure with us. Before we jump into how to start sweet potato slips, let's actually talk about what they are. So a sweet potato slip is a small plant that grows from an existing potato, and it um, has leaves and then it grows roots and then you cut it off and you put it in water or soil and it grows and that's what is considered a slip. Now when it comes to slips you have two options. You can either buy them and I have listed some places below in the description if you are looking to buy sweet potato slips but you can also create your own which is what we're going to talk about today. The first option for buying sweet potato slips is to take a mason jar and fill it with water. Then you're going to take your sweet potato and put the rooted end in the water. And in order to get this to submerge, you're going to put toothpicks all around it and then it kind of hangs. And then you'll place it in a sunny window and just let it go and grow. Now, like I said, we have never had much luck growing sweet potatoes that way. So we researched a new way, which is what I'm gonna share with you. So our new way to grow sweet potato slips is to take a tray I have some foil trays here, and I am going to fill this with potting soil. Now I'm not gonna fill it, I'm gonna put maybe one or two inches of potting soil in it. Once I have my potting soil in my trays, I'm going to water it in just a little bit. This is a compressed potting soil, so it is very, very dry. Okay, once I have it all watered in, I'll probably have to water it again later as well. But I'm gonna take my sweet potatoes and I am going to just bury them in the soil a little bit and make sure that the ends are covered with a little bit of soil. So just gonna push it down in there. Okay, then I'm going to Place these on my seed starting racks with the grow lights on and let them sit. note about both of these seed starting methods, whether you're starting your sweet potatoes in a jar or if you're starting them in trays. Both methods take a couple of months in order for slips to grow. So you want to make sure that you start your sweet potatoes extra early. So our, we are gardening in zone seven. Our frost date, our last frost date is about the mid April and I am starting these at the end of January. So as you can see, starting them super, super early to make sure that we get them. 
And I also want to note, you don't want to use and you don't have to use the biggest sweet potatoes that you have to start slips. The best size sweet potato to start a slip is about two inches in diameter. Save those really big ones for cooking and eating. They're much better. It's a much better use for them. A question that I see a lot in gardening groups and on Instagram is face and on Facebook is, can I grow potatoes from the grocery store? And a lot of times, and a lot of gardeners will tell you no. And I'm a little bit different in the fact that I'm going to tell you yes, <laughs> because you, as a gardener, you want to use what you have. And sweet potato slips, and whether it's red potatoes or sweet potatoes, they're expensive if you buy them from the store, like from a seed catalog. And it's just more affordable and easier for us if we just buy them from the grocery store. And I've had great success growing sweet potatoes from the grocery store. Now, once you grow them that first year, save a few so that next year you can start your own and you don't have to buy them from the grocery store. But if you are just starting out, it is okay to buy your potatoes to create slips from the grocery store. Is there a little bit of risk involved? Yes, but I feel like the benefits outweigh the risk. So go ahead, I'm giving you permission to start your potatoes whether they're sweet potatoes or russets or red potatoes, go ahead and start them from grocery store potatoes. And on that note, <laughs> I highly encourage you, if you are not growing potatoes this year in your garden, to do so. It is a very easy crop to grow and it is a great way to start offsetting your grocery bill. That first cost when you buy the potatoes in the beginning, yeah, a little bit of money there, but your return will be huge. So take the dive, start some potato sl slips, sweet potato or other potato, and get growing. If you are growing potatoes in your garden this year, leave us a comment below, let us know how it's going, what worked for you, what isn't quite working, and if you have any questions, please make sure you leave them in the comments as well. Make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified when I give you guys an update on our sweet potato slips. Thank you so much for visiting the farmhouse today and I'll talk to you guys soon.